Hey guys, it is Caitlin here, and today I am being lazy, and I have an excuse. Um, yeah. I dislocated my knee last night. So, what happened was, here. here's what happened, bro. Okay, I was sprinting on the treadmill. 30-minute session, one-minute walk, one-minute sprint. Sprinting on a 7-0, walking on a 3-5. So, I was sprinting my last two minutes of the workout out of 30. On minute 28, I'm on the treadmill and I'm pounding. And the guys on the basketball court lost control of the ball. And it went flying at me on the, in the treadmill. And I threw my hands up to hit the ball. And it goes bouncing off my hands to the wall behind me. It comes flying back at me as I'm still running. Because I have no way of stopping the treadmill at this fast that soon. Hits me in the leg. I fall down. My knee dislocates. Now, for those of you who have been following me, you know I have knee problems. But for those of you new to the channel, my knee dislocates at least once every four months. Um... Popped right out of place. And I got really mad and out of my instinct in, in instinct I um I yelled <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say effing, I said the real word. I said And when I said that everybody stopped like the game stopped, they called it off, they were looking at me like, oh my gosh, is she okay? I put my knee back in place, got off the treadmill, hobbled off to the bathroom, and I'll insert a clip here of my hand shaking like crazy, because my whole body was just in shock. I was sweating, my temperature was up, I was crying just because I was scared. And, anyhow, I'm better. Like, I'm not going to be able to not walk. I can walk. But my knee hurts really bad. And I don't know what I'm going to do for cardio besides walking. Um, for a while, I tried biking this morning, and it still hurt. So, I'm just going to have to walk little bits at a time and weight lift for the next few days. So, anyhow, that's what happened, and that's why I got this ice bag on my knee and I'm being lazy and I'm bored um but I have been studying today so that's good and I'm getting further ahead with that um as far as my body composition goes I had my body fat tested day before yesterday or sometime this week I don't know maybe I think it was Wednesday yeah it was Wednesday and the thing is I've been using that Omron handheld fat monitor for about the past couple months and the thing will not change no matter how my weight changes um, the one thing that never changes is the fact that I drink at least a gallon of water every single day and I did my research and I was fed up I'm like I'm looking different my clothes fit different I've lost an inch in my stomach my arms look smaller I'm seeing more definition but my body fat is the same according to this gadget. So, I'm like, I've got to go get this tested. So, anyhow, I went to this local gym. And I got it tested with the calipers. And sure enough, I'm not 21% body fat. I'm 16% body fat. So, I knew something was wrong with that, that reading. Like... I'm just glad to know that I really am making progress. So, I'm going to continue on my diet. I have not messed up in 32 days. And it's going to stay that way. So, yay for progress this year. Um, Finally, I weigh 121 pounds. I believe in the last vlog I told you guys I was sitting at 124 for like 2 or 3 weeks. So, it finally moved. I'm at 121.8. And... I am so excited about that. It's been forever since I've been that. And I've never really been under 120 for more than a day. So this will be very interesting. Um, 
yeah so anyways that is my updates um yeah i don't really have much to do right now um i can't really make a very good workout video for you guys considering i have this injury um as far as what you can look forward to on the channel is the fact that i am getting my camera at the end of this month so these videos are going to be very good I'm getting a photo like light box set up to take professional pictures in my own home um, and better videos. I'm also getting a green screen set up to where I can make really cool um, photos or funny videos, you know, just neat stuff that looks better than this. Um, and I'm also getting a device called a Sculpt Aim. And what inspired me to research and see what this device was, was my body fat percentage. Um, the Sculpt Aim, if you can look it up, I'll post right here what it's called. Um, but the Sculpt Aim is a little device that uh, it tracks what your body fat percentage is. And the way it does that is you spray the little sensor, right? And then you stick the device to either four sites of your body where you normally would do your skin folds with the calipers or 24 different muscles and it has a list of which ones that you can do but you stick it to the muscle the LED sensor will light up and it will tell you the quality of your muscle or um, what what category you fall in as far as you know your weight like are you athletic are you obese are you lean are you essential you know whatever um but this thing is really cool and it's been tested to be one of the number one uh body fat testers that you can do at home and i've watched reviews on it and people will do the caliper test and then they'll do the test with that and it's the exact same reading so it's a new invention and i'm really excited to try it out and i will do a whole separate video on that and show you guys the review but anyhow um I think that concludes today's vlog. I'm just trying to stay in touch and let you guys know what to expect in the near future. And let you know that I'm getting lean. And I will also include some progress pictures for you guys. So, anyhow, thank you for watching. And stay tuned to my channel for more awesome tips and tricks and videos and workouts and inspiration. And you know it. So, alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.